What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I've got an interesting video for you on OBS. So if I go ahead and pull across OBS where I'm currently recording to, this is what it looks like for me. As you may have seen in some streams or videos talking about OBS or you just see OBS in the background, you may notice a big block of information regarding streaming quality, bitrate, frame drops, etc, etc, somewhere around on this bar at the bottom over here. I was curious of how to get this as it seemed to have some useful or rather interesting information. So what exactly am I talking about and how exactly do you get it? Well, it's pretty simple. Simply open up OBS Studio and at the very top head across to View and then have a look at the Stats section. Simply clicking this opens up a new window and this is exactly what I'm talking about. It shows CPU usage, disk space, memory usage, FPS, some render information, and then your two outputs over here, be it streaming, and recording, frame drops, bitrate, etc, etc. But of course, it's not exactly attached to the bar at the bottom of OBS. Simply dragging it there doesn't do anything, double clicking on it just makes it full screen. How do we get it to dock to this? Well, pretty simple. Simply close out of the stats window, head across to view, then docs, and simply click on stats. Now we'll have this window over here. If we drag and drop this to the bar at the bottom, you'll see it has the opportunity to put itself in somewhere here. If we double click on the bar at the top, it'll simply put itself wherever it can in this docs bar at the bottom. Double clicking the title of one of these will pull it out into the separate window. If you didn't know already, you can resize these little docks and you can dock things to the top of the preview, side of the preview, etc, etc. So it really doesn't matter where you want to put this, you can put it quite literally anywhere within the OBS application. For me, I'll probably be covering up these scenes over here as such. If we hold it over an existing one, it'll go ahead and dock it with it and add a tab at the bottom. Simply clicking the tab at the bottom, we can swap between what dock we currently have active. We can, of course, drag and drop these around to reorganize them, or simply drag the header out of the program to separate it completely. You can, of course, place this wherever you want in order for you to get the best view possible. I'll probably leave it somewhere like that. So now that I've simply just copied my stream key, I'll go ahead and paste it in, swap across to Twitch, and I'll choose a server that's far away from me so that I get the worst connection possible. I'll connect to, say, Miami, and then head across to my streaming settings over here, and we'll set the bitrate to something ludicrously high, say 30,000 kilobits per second, 30 megabits per second. If I start this stream, you should see a lot of dropped frames and things not working too well. You can see that I'm currently live, the connection is orange and red, and we have some information over here about exactly what is going wrong. If we have a look down here, all that you can see is dropped frames next to the live icon, and my recording icon seems to be fine. Hypothetically, you could be streaming to Twitch, and everything's working fine, and your recording could be dropping frames, but you wouldn't be able to know with just a simple indicator block. By having this extra window over here, you see a lot more info on what's going wrong. If we have a look at this over here, you can see that we're dropping a ton of dropped frames, and it's got brackets network next to it, meaning that we're dropping them because the network isn't stable enough, and our settings are a bit too powerful for what we currently have available. Out of almost 5,000 frames, we've only sent about 4,800, so we've only sent 200 frames successfully, the rest of them have been dropped. If we have a look up here, frames missed due to rendering lag, and skipped frames due to encoding lag, we have more dropped frame information up here, so that we can see if our encoder is overloading rather than our network. I'll go ahead and stop my stream. Settings, Output, I'll change it back to say 6,000, and I'll set it to something like placebo slowness on my CPU. If I were to ask it to start streaming, you should see my CPU activity goes way up. The CPU usage over here is specifically for the program itself, and so is the memory usage over here. As you can see, it's using 76% of my CPU in total for just this program. Another 20 or so is being used by other programs on my computer. Because we're overloading the encoder, you should see that we're dropping a lot of frames over here. Skipped frames due to encoding lag, 500 out of 54,000. Of course, this 54,000 is so big as I've had OBS running for quite some time. It seems to have crashed, so hopefully I'm not gonna lose anything in a recording. Luckily, I didn't lose anything. Quickly checking my recording, that's all good. I'll head back to the output tab and change it back to say very fast. This way I can stream when I want to. But with that aside, let's go ahead and reopen that dock as it wasn't successfully saved because OBS crashed out. Reopening the dock, it's appeared on a different screen. I'll put it back in the scene selection. But as you can see, it's not wanting to dock anywhere. 
except for maybe this left hand side. All I have to do is simply double click and it'll go across to the docks bar at the bottom in a default position. Then I can grab it and move it around. So as you saw, we had frames missed due to rendering lag and skipped frames due to encoding lag, though it was mostly encoding lag over here. That of course means that my CPU or NVENC chip are overloaded and things aren't working very well. Go ahead and check your settings for that. And that's basically the super simple stats that you can get from here that can help you diagnose exactly what's going wrong with your recording and why. That is also why this is such an incredibly important tool that you should have somewhere in your OBS toolbox in case you're dropping frames and things don't work as well as you expect them to. But anyway, I hope you found this video somewhat useful. My name has been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!